Hello YouTube and welcome to All Good on the Road. Today I'd like to talk about everything dining on Carnival cruise ships. I've noticed many questions from new cruisers about exactly how dining works on Carnival cruise ships. They seem to be confused that there are some pay restaurants and some free restaurants. So today I'm going to try to cover everything you need to know as a new cruiser about dining on Carnival. Please consider liking and subscribing if you like cruise content. We will be on the Carnival Mardi Gras in 30 days. There was a time in which every bit of food on a Carnival cruise ship was included in your fare, but that is certainly not the case anymore. Those days are long past. First, let's talk about the buffet. Every Carnival cruise ship has a buffet. This buffet is going to open around 6.30 in the morning and serve breakfast until around 11.30. At 11.30, they're gonna close for half an hour, and then they're going to reopen at noon to serve lunch until about 3.30. At 3.30, they're going to close to prepare for dinner, and they're going to serve dinner from 6 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. The buffet is included in your fare. There is no additional fee. You can eat there as many times a day as you'd like. You do not have to make a reservation. It is open seating. You simply walk up, get your food, sit down and eat. Drinks are available there. Not things like soda or alcoholic drinks, but uh, unsweetened tea, water, a couple of drink mixes like a cranberry mix and a lemonade mix, hot cocoa and coffee. You can eat there 20 times a day if you feel like it. And that's on every Carnival cruise ship. Okay, now let's talk about the main dining room. The main dining room is also on all Carnival cruise ships does not require a reservation, and is included in your fare. There's no extra fee to eat there. They are open in the morning from around 8.30 to noon, and that's called Sea Day Brunch. You do, if you're eating in the morning, you do not need a reservation to eat there. You simply show up or check in on the app, let them know you'd like to eat. They'll tell you when your table's ready. You'll sit, order from the menu. It's a regular table service restaurant. Now, in the evenings, there's three types of seatings in the main dining room. There's early, late, and your time dining. You'll pick that when you book your cruise. When you buy your tickets right after you pay your initial deposit, you'll have the option to choose either your time dining, early or late. Now, sometimes, depending on when you book, only one of those will be available. So if you choose your time dining, you'll check in on the app. Anytime you want in the evening when they open from like 5.30 or 5.45 to 9. And they'll tell you when your table is ready. You'll be seated. It'll be a different table each night unless you request the same table and different servers each night unless you request the same servers, which you can do. Now, if you have early seating, you simply show up at 6 o'clock, 5.45 or so. And they seat you at the same table each night. You do not have to check in on the app. You do not have to wait until your table is ready. You just go the same time every night to your table and eat. That's early. Now, late seating would be at 830, and it works the same way. It's just much later in the evening. There are two seatings at the main dining room. Now, there are, this confuses people sometimes, there are four pay options on the main dining room menu. Steakhouse selections, I'll take, show you them here. So you can upcharge and pay a little extra to have a little nicer cut of meat or a lobster or something like that from this steakhouse selection. But everything else on this menu is included in your fare. And this is consistent across all Carnival cruise ships. Although most food is free on this menu, a lot of drinks you would normally expect to have with dinner are not. Here are the free options at dinner. Coffee, unsweetened iced tea, water, hot chocolate, hot tea, and lemonade. Anything else like a Coke or a alcoholic drink does cost extra. And there will also be people walking around during dinner selling things like shots. Now you'll also see on this menu that emerald selections are available. Those are free in the dining room. But Emeralds is a paid restaurant, so that can be confusing too. But if you see these selections here, there is no extra fee for those. They're very nice. 
Another thing to note about the main dining room is on the larger ships, there will usually be two. One for your time dining, which may have two floors, and one for early and late dining, which could also have two floors. So you want to look at your sail and sign card. It'll tell you where you're going to be eating, in what restaurant. Another dining venue that's included on all Carnival cruise ships now and is very popular is Guy's Burgers. Guy's Burgers schedule can vary on cruise ships. They have the option to open that whenever they'd like, but normally on a sea day, you'll see Guy's Burgers open from noon to six, and it'll close when the buffet and the main dining room opens. A lot of this has to do with the employees that work Guy's Burgers will also often work in the dining room. So uh, that's the reason it closes around that time of day. Very popular and included on all cruise ships. No extra fee for this venue. Now, the next dining venue we'll talk about is on almost all Carnival Cruise ships, Uiguana Cantina. It's basically a taco bar, a burrito bar, and it is on almost all Carnival Cruise ships. The Venezia now has something called Tomodoros, which is a Mexican-Italian mix kind of place. But every other cruise ship is going to have this Blue Iguanas Cantina. Another option for dining on Carnival cruise ships, and I believe this exists on all Carnival cruise ships, is the Carnival Deli. Again, the Carnival Deli schedule may not be consistent, but on most sea days, it's going to be open from noon to 10 p.m. Now, the Carnival Deli is interesting is in that the older ships have one menu, and the newer ships have a different menu. I prefer the older ship menu, but both of them are pretty good. Another venue... A consistent across all Carnival cruise ships is pizza. It's called different things on different ships. It's called Pizza Pirate on the old ship. It's called Miami Slice, somewhere like the Carnival Celebration. Pizza will be open from 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. These times can vary per ship, though. You can always get a slice of pizza there. It's always pretty busy, but they move really quickly because they're just making pizzas all the time. Now, let's talk about the dining venues that cost extra money above what you've paid to get on the ship. These ships have a steakhouse, Fahrenheit 555. It's $49 a person to go to this steakhouse any evening. You can make a reservation long before your cruise on the Carnival website. And if they have availability, you can make a reservation while on the ship. You'll be able to choose from this menu, and it's $49 extra a person. Now, Excel class ships now have something called Rudy's Sea Grill. This is, again, another paid venue, $49 per person. Rudy's Sea Grill has an upscale dining menu for the extra $49 per person. Only exists on these ships. Now, smaller ships have something called the Seafood Shack, which is a counter service seafood restaurant. Again, for a fee, and it's counter service, but it does have some nice seafood options. Another four pay venue on certain cruise ship is Emeralds. Emeralds is what I would call counter service. They do have tables and they will bring your food to you, but it is not a traditional table service restaurant. Many people rave about their beignets in the morning. You could go pick those up, take them to your balcony, or of course eat them anywhere on the ship. Emeralds does have a nice little dining area. Now here's where it gets a little complicated, and I'm sure this is why some new cruisers are not really sure how dining works on Carnival cruise ships. On Excel class ships and a few others here, there is now restaurants. There are now restaurants called Shebang and Cucina del Capitano. These are free, depending on which ship you're on, for as many visits you'd li as you'd like, like the Jubilee. But on the Celebration and the Mardi Gras, it is free the first time you go, and $8 per person if you'd like to go again for dinner later in the cruise. That can be kind of complicated, but it is a pretty low fee. A little bit strange that the Jubilee is not charging anything in their inaugural season. Eventually, I expect Carnival will charge for all visits to Shebang and Cachino de Capitano. I could be wrong about that, but that's usually how Carnival works, is they start off free, then they add a fee, and then eventually they raise that fee and make it a four-pay restaurant. I expect Cochina and Shebang in a couple of years will be four-pay restaurants with a higher fee than $8. But right now, free the first time 
and eight dollars for additional visits on the celebration and the Mardi Gras, and free probably for the rest of the year on the Jubilee for as many visits as you'd like. These chips have something called Guy's Pig and Anchor, a barbecue joint that is also included in your fare. It's not extra to eat there. You can eat there for lunch or dinner. And on the celebration, they had a buffet set up in Guy's that you could go to instead of the buffet on deck. 15 or 16 for breakfast. Now, guys does have additional items on the menu for a fee, just like the main dining room, but it is, there is not a charge to eat there. Now, one of the things I love about Excel class ships is all the tiny venues they have for free that you can snack at. Time fries, street eats. Street eats is my absolute favorite venue on any cruise ship. They also, in the Serenity area, have a really nice salad bar that opens on sea days. So that is really the draw of the Excel class ships to me, is that they have so many dining options available to you for free. Something a lot of people don't realize is that every sea day, almost every carnival ship, maybe every carnival ship, I certainly haven't been on one that doesn't have it, has a sea day tea, an afternoon tea. Afternoon tea is not advertised very well in the fun times, but it happens every sea day at three in one of the main dining rooms. Some ships have two. You'll have to scour your fun times to see it. It's usually under the dining section. It does not show up under the schedule section. I love afternoon tea. It's one of my favorite things to do on a Carnival cruise ship. My only problem is I have to go easy because in just a few hours, you're going to eat again in the main dining room if you have early seating. Now, on these ships, you have something that's relatively new to Carnival. It showed up in the last few years, Bonsai Teppanyaki. A lot of people consider this the best place to eat on a Carnival cruise ship, but it is also a four-pay venue, and it's $49 per person. They do the regular hibachi show just like you're used to. That's pretty cool on a cruise ship. These ships have something called bonsai sushi. Now, bonsai sushi <laughs> sushi can vary quite a bit on ships. It can be just a little counter service location, or it could be a full restaurant like you see here on the Carnival Celebration. Let's talk about room service. Not too many years ago, room service was completely free 24 hours a day on a cruise ship, but that's not the case anymore. Now... Room service it has a portion of their menu that is still free on Carnival cruise ships from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And it's what I'd call continental breakfast. That is fruit and cereal, uh, toast, a Danish uh, croissant, bagel, coffee. You can get those things delivered for free from 6 to 10. And they do have some upcharge options on that menu. You can see here you've got your crispy chicken breakfast sandwich, your English muffin. But now at the same time, you can leave your room and you can go eat at the main dining room or the buffet or several other venues use on most cruise ships for free in the morning. If you want it delivered to your room, you still can have this delivered to your room. Now, there is still a 24-hour room service menu, and that is for a fee all the time after 10 a.m. If you would like food brought to your room, these are your options. Nice Greek salad, Caesar salad, tuna sandwich. They are relatively low in price, but there is a fee now. No more 24-hour room service for free. Another thing to know about room service on Carnival ships is it's no longer just room service. You can have room service delivered to you almost anywhere on the ship. These ships now have Shaq's Big Chicken. This is a very popular venue on the ships that have it. It'll be open from 8 a.m. to 11 and 11 to 5. They have sort of a breakfast menu in the morning, and they have their regular menu 11 to 5. There is, again, no fee for this on the ships it's on the ships that it exists on if you were not aware there is a candy shop on most carnival cruise ships it is for pay and the candy usually runs several dollars per pound Thanks for watching. I think that covers everything to do with dining on a Carnival cruise ship. But if you think I missed anything or got anything wrong, please tell me in the comments. I'd like to know, and maybe we can make a follow-up video. 